Hello friends and family, welcome to Arian Therapeutic Farm. I believe the purpose of each individual species is just that, to help maintain the land and we all live together and, and live healthily and happily without any unnecessary death. This place is amazing. It's usually the number one thing people say. Hello, Hello friends, friends and, and family. family. It is healing for people. The people who come to visit get to experience those things. They're often people that come are disconnected, don't get to spend time with animals and realize the benefits they offer. Um, it's when people start to do that then they make connection with their food and the fact that most of these animals would be consumed. Okay, watch your arm now. I'm gonna need to let go so it doesn't scratch it. There, there we go. Okay, first one done. So children that are often labeled any age these days really so complex, and it really is a spectrum of challenges for these young people. Um, anxiety disorders, depression, that's so much more prevalent with young people now. And I think honestly a lot of it can be attributed to lack of connection with nature and animals, whole, clean food. Oh, back. Okay, we're gonna sneak in here. There, yep. you're good. All right, all right. Good boy. And that's why they feel so good when they're here, is because um, they get to be themselves. So a boy like that is empowered when he's here, and his mom says it every time she comes. You know, he's he's excited to come on Saturday. He feels confident. He feels. Empowered, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go over here. Yes. You're good, Bentley. Straight under there. there you go. And then a long ways down for Laura, so Bentley. And so when they come to a place like this, they have to move, but they're inspired to move because they want one to feel valued and do work, and two, they know they feel better when they spend time with with the horses and animals. And we want people to come all year round, even though it obviously is wonderful to be able to sit in the grass and do what we're doing right now. Um, but the animals are still here, even when there's snow on the ground. And it's still a really cool place to visit if you're dressed appropriately. And uh, they still give love and they still need to eat. And we still need volunteers to help all of this happen. Um, hello. I think this is all right. And no, Flipper and Jean are here now. Hello friends and family. <laughs> it's the, the petting. You can feel the hair. And I think also to be outside and have a good time in nature and with a pet together it's such a good benefit and mix everything together. You're touching the grass and you don't care if you're sitting on it or you're getting dirty. It's yeah I would I would recommend the lifestyle to anybody. Yeah. The trick is how you survive financially. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about that like how are you able to sustain this place? Because it looks relatively clean and tidy, I think there's a, probably a perception that there's success attached to that. Um, but the secret is um, we work really hard to look professional and organized. And if we weren't as organized as we are and come up with the systems that we have, then for sure things would be tougher, and they were. Um, there's a whole lot of factors that go into running an operation like this.
Hmm. Did you know the horns are itchy? No, oh. I thought... Uh... This is brand new. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. We offer tours to the public. We're open all day, every day. So you can just pay the admission, and if you want an extra behind-the-scenes tour, if you even want to stay over, we have our Airbnb. All, all across the board, everyone says they feel better after spending time here. Not only that, they leave impacted. They leave thinking about that animal would have died for me to drink milk. Mm -hmm. Like these are really hard facts that no one wants to talk about. That's the mission of the farm is, is to bring about that awareness and help make people connect. And I think a place like this just makes people think again, you know? Even if it's for a few minutes. Oh, that's my bacon, and that's my steak, or whatever. And we are so disconnected in society now, it's important. Ooh. <laughs> Don't always get to see that. The next thing that'll happen is their mouth will be stuck open for about five minutes. They won't be able to, because it's so much effort for them to get the spit and the air out that uh, they stop looking at each other after that. <laughs> this guy's waiting for us to hand him some maple leaves. Oh, okay. <laughs> so funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> Just waiting. Waiting. Yeah. Hi. So chewy. This is love bug. Mm -hmm. We've had love bug since the very beginning because he just gets love. Good morning, friends and family. I'm still thinking about the place that we went yesterday. It is beautiful, right? But now, mate is ready, Bruno is ready, it means it's cooking time! Thank you. 